I want to extend on behalf of the London Police Service my sincerest apology to the victim, to her family, for the amount of time that it has taken to reach this point. As a police officer working in this space for many, many years, I can tell you that this is a difficult, difficult situation for all victims and survivors of sexual violence. I'm apologizing to the victim and to her family because it's taken this long. This should not take this long. It shouldn't take years and years uh, for, for us, you know, to arrive to the outcome of today. All victims of sexual violence in many forms, they should not have to wait this long. I just want to address two questions that have been asked and they're, you know, about what we're doing um, and how the police uh, plan to move forward. I, I, will, I will take this minute to, to share with you that what we're looking at is not, you know, for us, Hockey Canada. This is an investigation where there's a victim of sexual assault. So there's a widespread prevalence of violence towards women worldwide, worldwide. And one contributing factor and one com complex thing that we need to address is us as a society and community because the sexualization of young women and girls in today's society is contributing to the violence against women. And part of it, and I'm not blaming the media, but I do want to highlight that how we portray young women and girls on TV, in music videos, how we write about them, magazine shoots, all that contributes to sexual violence and the normalization of what we're seeing. So I just want to share that with you and I want you to understand that to me this is an investigation that involves a victim. I truly, I'm not a hockey player, I, I don't know nothing about hockey. This is a sexual assault investigation.